Okay, Sly, I'm heading out for the tank. Okay, Bentley, what's next? Well, that should be the guard's control center. But to be honest, I'm not sure how you're going to get up there. Don't worry about it. Thinking of my feet is what I do best. Most of the security went down when we cut the power on the bridge, but a few lights seem to have a backup generator. Be careful. Oh, <laughs> 
Okay, I'm running your algorithmic code decryptor. You see anything happening down there? Success! We've got access to solitary confinement. Hot stuff. I'm heading down. bad. I've never seen Murray like this. He's all twitchy and bug-eyed. You said Murray was being forced to eat spice, right? Yeah, he said he was feeling weird. Well, he's weirded out all right. I doubt he even knows we're here. Clearly, we're going to have to lure him out of that cell the hard way. The hard way? Those hypno boxes are designed to heighten the effects of spice, and he's already in an agitated state. So if we turn them all on at the same time, Murray's sure to become wildly hostile and probably break down the door. How do we turn on the hypno boxes? The power switches are all defended by laser barriers. When you get close, I'll hack the laser system from my terminal down here. That should give you access. Let's do it. Anything to help out old Murray. He's looking really bad. Okay, I'm hacking the laser barrier. to turn on the hypno box. What's that sound? Angry! Get gone! I'll take care of the laser wall.
I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Tip me over and I'll smash up everything! Ah! I'm on it! Heaven. Sorry, pal. You're no angel. Just take a few deep breaths and try to center your thoughts. Okay. What's with all the racket? My conscious mind is a wreck. I ought to... The weak-minded hippo is free! And he's got friends! Hmm. Perhaps it's time to reevaluate some life choices. I'm serious. I managed to keep this half of the clockwork heart safe. It was hard to hide from the con- Oh, Contessa! She's getting away! Murray, lift those crank bars so we can chase after her. I'm on it! such progress during our sessions. 
The only mental help that I need is to never be reminded of you again. Such displaced hostility. If you insist on getting angry, why not be psychologically productive and channel it at your so-called friends? I'm done talking with my mouth. Now I talk with my fists! Sorry, but our time is up. <laughs> We'll find her. With the three of us back together, she doesn't stand a chance. It was great! The gang had been reunited and it was all because of me! Even the van ride out of town was like a party! Murray had to pull over twice because he was laughing so hard. But despite all the jokes, I think something had changed. Since childhood, the three of us had never been apart. And our recent isolation gave us all pause for thought. Needless to say, we took a few weeks off before getting back to work. And for the first time in my life, Murray let me drive. Time for a little payback. The Contessa. Having escaped us in the prison, is now hiding out in her castle estate. It's a well-fortified, gothic nightmare that would make any thief run in terror. Terrible or not, that's where we're headed. To sweeten the deal, we've learned that the Contessa, who until recently was a secret member of the Claw Gang, is in possession of the Clockwork Eyes. The Thievius Raccoonus describes the eyes stopping opponents dead in their tracks, transfixed in their gaze. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what an accomplished hypnotist could do with such powerful artifacts. News of the Contessa's corruption has spread to Interpol. Constable Neela, being closest to the case, was granted a cash allowance to hire an army of local mercenaries. It looks like we're walking into a full-scale war. But we have to act now, before things go from bad to worse.
Pleasant enough. Oh, and stay clear of tanks. You know, so you don't get blown up into little sticky pieces. 